it's Christmas! Well, okay, it's not Christmas yet, although you wouldn't know that from looking around you. Seriously, the lights were switched on here a whole month before Christmas and some neighbours of mine decided to put up their decorations as soon as they took the Halloween stuff down. But this video isn't going to be about 10 Christmas activities that you can do in the last few days of term, although I might do a video like that. So if you don't celebrate Christmas or if you're a bit of a Grinch like me, then don't worry, I have you covered. In this video, I'm going to share five ideas for inquiry projects that you can use in December, January, February, or whenever you want. Stay tuned. The last few lessons of term are the perfect opportunity to try out something a bit different when the pressure is off. Your learners are likely tired and excited, which is a terrible combination for concentration and focus, and they will relish a change. So why not put your course book away until after the holidays and do a mini inquiry project with your students? Inquiry idea number one, let it snow. This inquiry is all about, you guessed it, snow. Everyone loves snow. Snow is fun. But thinking about some children I've taught who had never experienced snow, it can be even more interesting. Our essential question for this inquiry is, what is snow? Here are some sub-questions that your students could explore. Where does it snow? Why does or doesn't it snow? How is snow formed? Why does it snow in the mountains? What does a snowflake really look like? What happens to plants and animals when it snows? Why is it so quiet when it snows? And how can we make fake snow? There are lots of different things to focus on there, so I would maybe choose two or three questions at most. It could easily be extended into a practical project where students try to make fake snow or crystals. Inquiry idea number two, sustainable gifts. I know my friend Harry from Renewable English is going to like this one. December and January are times when many people give gifts and so it's a timely topic. Why not get your students thinking about gifts they give and receive and how sustainable they are? Our essential question for this one could be, how can I make a planet-friendly gift? Some sub-questions that students could explore are, what materials are and aren't sustainable? How can I upcycle my things? How can I make my own sustainable wrapping paper? Where can I buy eco-friendly products? What gifts can I make? And how can I personalise a gift? You could also turn this into a longer project by having students design their own eco-friendly gift for a classmate. If you like this topic, I actually have an Inspiring Inquiries mini resource pack on a similar topic. It has a different essential question and a more general focus, but sustainability is one of the subtopics. You can actually get this pack for free. Check out the link in the description below. Inquiry idea number three is celebration food. Food plays an important part in many festivals and celebrations, so why not take this opportunity to do a food inquiry? Our essential question here is, what makes celebration food special? Some sub-questions that students could explore are, what food do we eat at this celebration? Does this food have a special meaning? Who do we celebrate with? What can we smell or taste at this time of year? So bringing in the senses. How can I make festive cookies or cakes or another traditional dish? How can we make food look pretty? And how can we make the table look special? Again, this could be followed up with students making some festive cookies or planning a class meal. 
You could also bring in some typical foods from your culture or a specific festivity and allow students to try them. Inquiry idea number four is toys. Toys are probably the most important thing for kids at this time of year in countries where we celebrate Christmas. So let's do an inquiry about toys. Our essential question for this one is what makes the perfect toy? Our sub questions here could be what toys have you got? How do you play with them? What are your favourite toys? Do you play with friends? Do you play inside or outside with this toy? And why is this toy special? I actually have a brand new inquiry pack on the topic of toys. The essential question is slightly different to the one we've just seen as we do a bit of time traveling and we explore how toys have changed. Finally, inquiry five is party. Our essential question is, what makes a good party? In this inquiry, we explore questions like, what do people do at parties? What activities can we do at a party? What kind of music is good for parties? How can we make the classroom look like a party venue? How can we make decorations? And what food and drinks can we bring? And then after that, of course, throw your party. A party is a great way to end the term. So there you have five ideas for festive or not festive inquiry projects for your classroom. Remember that inquiry is all about having learners find answers to their own questions. So if possible, let them choose where to take their inquiry. It is the end of term after all, surely they deserve a bit of freedom. If you want to try out a resource pack, you'll find links to toys, party and the free mini inquiry gifts in the description below. Come back next week for more ideas for things you can do to end the term. Happy inquiring!